Okay, let's make our way over. 300 meters. With the mining rigs disabled, it seems a bit fresher out here. Not seems. It is. I... You're right. Thanks, brother. Maybe we might find a few more of these little areas with uh, with items we can pick up in the water just because the mining rigs are gone. Maybe that's what they meant by fresh air. I don't know. Maybe it's just something they said. Okay, let's head on over. 100 meters. Shouldn't take that long to get there. I think it's right here, actually. Hope will be happy we fix those rigs. Yeah, here we go. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get? You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I. Wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them are. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the ace here. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Like this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. I don't think this guy knows who he's messing with. <laughs> what? Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Exit the office to the port. Okay. That guy was so obnoxious. So, what's the plan? Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. All right, let's go take these guys out, hey? We can knock this down. Oh, 
Oh, what's that? Hang on. Is the poison on the ground? That's new. Oh, hang on. Why does that guy like invulnerable to my attacks? It was really strange. Oh, it's like a new type of enemy, I think. Alright, hang on, a little bit of health. Alright, one more over here. Should be able to take this guy out fairly easily. Taken out. I think that's everything. Oh, that's not done? I wonder why the music was still going. There we go. Alright. I did wonder a little bit why the music was still on. As I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. You smell him? But seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, dear. Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Reach the mine beyond the mountain. Okay. So before we go too far, I just want to double check there's nothing we didn't miss around here. A little bit of health will go a long way right now as well. Doesn't seem like there's anything else though. Oh, hang on. Yes, there is. We'll hide. I don't think. Oh, we can open this up. Oh, this is the direction we have to go. Can I not go back through? I can. I wonder what was over the far side there. Now I'm curious. Hang on, let's look, look at the map. Yeah, like over here? There's like another beach? Oh, it goes around all the way. Look, it goes around the back and we're probably going to come out the beach on the way... on the way out, maybe? I don't know. Let's have a quick look just in case there is something to miss. Because there is something over there. But I think we would have to jump from like there. To get over. Yeah, it's probably something we have to do. In the f whoa, whoops. In the future. Okay, so we were going the right way. Here we go. This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. Oh, I thought that was a one of those ravens that I could kill, but I think it's just 
I think it's a real one. Grab this, because I saw it in the corner. Two forged iron now. That's nice. Now I think we can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. Ah, okay. We probably will come back this way, and that's how we get back down to the boat down there. Okay, let's just take the train up then. Yeah, Mamiya's being very forceful <laughs> about what we got to do here, so we'll just get in the train. I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and a bearer of Galahor. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Seems like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. Okay. He already sees another train? You know. Oh, he's a raven. Maybe finding here is our best protection. It seems like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Just quietly, how good was that shot? <laughs> On the raven. We got four out of 48. A bit of health there. A bomb. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Bari, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. Okay. Let's see what's over here first. Ooh, here we go. I love these runic chests, just like having to have a look around. Some special equipment to use this. Oh, really? I don't think this is working, brother. Maybe yeah. we should come back. Yeah, I think they're pretty, pretty bloody obvious God, with it. Here. We can come back to this later. Okay. Yeah, we just can't do this right now. They made that pretty obvious. That's okay. Oh. You've got like some sort of crocodile. Whoa, is that a Drekki? A Drekki? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. A oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Come get me, buddy. Oh, I wanted the block. Just didn't get it off into him. Alright, hang on. Ooh, that does damage though. Look at that. True, I was completely forgetting about my Rini attack. I'm happy they, uh... <laughs> they told me about it. Oh, yeah, nice. Get rage mode, get a little bit of health back. Oh, hang on. Being like electrified. Yes, we're 
doing it. Oh, got it with the axe at the end. Nice. Tough. Stay on your guard. There could be others around. Weapon upgrades. A small flame that has no source but burns in all directions. Generate it through mighty battles. Used to upgrade blade scales. If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. What we get? Flames of anguish. Light runic attack. Oh, for the, uh, for the chaos blades. A quick, quick uppercut that creates a fiery geyser. Yes, let's do that. Hey. So light runic attack, here it is, a quick uppercut that creates a fiery geyser launching nearby enemies. Will do. So I wonder if the Blades of Chaos and the Leviathan Axe share a cooldown time on the runic attacks. Actually, first just for science, I want to see this. So we do this. And then we switch to the Blades of Chaos. And we can do that as well. And the, recha the recharge times on these attacks are also completely, um, like, not reliant on one another. Like, they're completely independent. So you can, like, switch to one, do all the runic attacks, and then switch to the next one as well. And just, wow, that's really, really opens up the, the combat possibilities. I didn't think it would be like that. I thought they would share the same cooldown. That is pretty Down sweet. There. I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. <laughs> Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok. How can we? And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. Okay, like I was saying before, if you because I've set that directional thing up, I clicked R three and it sort of tells me where to go, and now I went in the opposite direction. So I'm just curious as to what's over here on this side. What's in here? Locked, huh? Forge ahead, unintended, I imagine. The forge. Could be lighthearted jape or another expression of the dwarves. Resentment of Odin's grip on Falzheim. Progress. Truly progress. Huh. Rune reads. Okay, I don't know. I mean, we can't get in there yet, so... Either it's going to be accessible by a later point in the story, or... Maybe we have to get a certain piece of equipment. Who knows. For now, let's just continue. To the mine. Nothing there. Oh, can I not make that jump? Huh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, surely there's a way to get over there. I didn't think he was gonna do it like that though, that's cool. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of iron. <gasps> Got some bogeys. The wretches keep coming from that pillar. Looks like a nest. Oh yeah, may as well take the nest out now. I don't really feel like farming any experience right now. I sort of just want to... Just want to progress. Alright, so here's the next carriage. Looks like we have to get this one back on the track. Small. 
Okay. We need to go left. Wait, I meant my left. <laughs> Keep going. We're so close. Just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two. Here we go. Okay. Ride the train to the mines. Usually in games like this, or older games, this would be used as like a loading screen. But now I think they have to use it to tell a story. Oh, uh, Diener. Yeah, it's covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, or could... Uh oh. Oh, damn! <laughs> Tell me when! Atreus, look for a break to stop the train! You should be a leader of some sort! It's a break stop! Keep trying, little one! Father! Stop this train! No time for trolls, apparently. <laughs> what? It wasn't even a battle. Troll just got annihilated. I can't believe you. Are you serious? It's a nice bit of health, actually. That was crazy. All of it. Okay. You said it, little brother. Ooh. That uh, wasn't actually expected. <laughs> That's just something to throw. These guys have an orange bar as well, so I think that's why they're a little bit harder. Does damage, man. Where's this guy with the poison? Hmm. Can't actually reach him from here. Get rid of this. Is he still there? All right, hang on. There's nothing here apart from a little bit of Quicksilver. Ooh. 
Maybe I can get the Raven as it comes around. Hang on. Yes. Five of forty-eight. This place is pretty big, eh? Hey? I don't actually know. Whoa! Hang on. What the? I was about to say, I don't actually know which way to approach this this level from. Because I can go over here as well. Oh, actually, not really. Okay, so I guess there isn't really anything here. Nothing. Okay, so yeah, that was actually the right direction. Or oh, we could go down the bottom. Might as well go down here. Because, you know, as usual, this is not the right direction, so there's probably some hidden things. Oh, this is all patched up. Usually there'll be like a door to travel here. The whetstone of the Night Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. But enough about you. I'm talking about the whetstone. <laughs> there is a, a rune over there on the left hand side, so we should keep note of that as well. So there's probably a chest over there somewhere. Another one up there. 